Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to set up an Ubuntu desktop environment with GNOME inside the Docker container and access it remotely using the VNC Viewer tool from RealVNC. Well, since Docker containers are made for microservices at the, and the most of the time they don't require a desktop, this kind of application can seem useless, but it can be helpful in some scenarios like working in an isolated uh, development environment with a desktop without altering your host system, running GUI application, and also using a different Ubuntu desktop version. Also, I want to say that virtual machines are already set up to be used for this purpose, but the letters use their own Linux kernel and can be heavy compared to a Docker container which used the same Linux kernel as your host PC. Anyway, let's start the demo. So as you can see, I'm already in my Docker repository image web page and I'll follow these steps to run my image. But before the event, I want to tell you that you can build the image by your own by following my uh, this link uh, into my GitHub repository. You can check how the Docker file was written and also uh, customize it to make your own Docker image uh, Ubuntu desktop. So first of all, I'm going to pull uh, the image by using the docker uh, pull command. You will need to open a terminal and log in with the super user. Pass the command uh, of docker pull. As you can see, uh, the image already exists in uh, my host PC and I can confirm uh, it using docker images and uh, as you can see in uh, my list you can see uh, Ubuntu desktop VNC which is the name of uh, my image. Uh, to run the, the image you can directly copy paste the docker run command and here we go. So the Docker container is currently running and you can uh, use Docker PS to see, uh, I just need to use super user. So with Docker PS, you can see that the Docker container is running and uh, the both of the SSH and VNC port are opened. So the next step is to install, uh, to download and install the VNC viewer. Uh, you can click on this link and uh, download the Debian package. And uh, when it's done, you can open another termi uh, terminal and go to the download folder and use the apt to install the package. I'm going to set my password and uh, surprise, uh, VNC Viewer is already installed in uh, my, uh, my PC. So I'm going to search directly for it. So uh, in VNC Viewer, you have, to, you have to set the IP address of your Docker container. Uh, by default, uh, when you launch uh, the first Docker container, it will have an IP, uh, this IP address. So I'm gonna copy, copy and paste it with the port of uh, the uh, VNC service. As you can see, it asks uh, me uh, to if I wanted to continue. I press continue, and here we are. We have our Ubuntu desktop uh, with the root user. Uh, in the Docker file, I didn't create a, a user, but you can customize it or, uh, or you can create it directly in uh, your desktop environment. So since, uh, since uh, the GNOME terminal uh, has an issue, I'm gonna use uh, another uh, 
application to use the terminal and as you can see I can uh, use the ls command and also use the apt command and uh, I'm gonna show you that you can also uh, go to the browser for example installing VS code I'm gonna install this version of VS Code so uh, I will be sure that it's compatible with the Ubuntu uh, 18 version so I'm gonna need this version x64 uh, I mean uh, I'm gonna download the Debian package because I uh, download, downloaded uh, the .exe uh, file so I'm gonna open another once uh, the terminal and cd the download folder and use the apt install to install VS Code. So VS Code installed. Let's let's check if the some command uh, as apt update. So it's more user friendly uh, than you Xterm. So if you guys enjoyed the demo, let me know in the comment section and see you next time. Bye bye.